This is Megan Well from Caracol Report speaking with Rob Kenny, creator of the wildly popular YouTube series, Dad, How Do I? Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me on. So what motivated you to start your channel? I, that's a good question. There's <laughs> a, uh, it was kind of all kind of came together. It's something that I wanted to do. I thought of it uh, a few years ago. And with the pandemic, I kind of ran out of excuses. My daughter was on me for a while to, to do it. And so, yeah, I finally had some time on my hands and decided to do it. Awesome. And um, I know that you talk about your own childhood and fatherhood experiences. And where did you find the courage to start talking about that on the channel and be open about it? Yeah, it's actually been therapeutic to actually talk through it because I still, you know, how I was still carrying even a little bit of baggage to it. Now I feel like I can talk to it without breaking down and crying. <laughs> it was difficult, you know, with my dad leaving when I was 14 um, and processing that as an adult. Um, you know, I finally came, I shared this in my book. I finally came to the conclusion that I need to forgive him uh because it was in my own best interest you know i think a lot of times we think oh, i just could never forgive that person and really uh you know you're actually hurting yourself if you don't let go um because you keep bringing that baggage into the future mm -hmm. and then you've taught others valuable adulting lessons through your videos what has your channel taught you about yourself and life in general yeah. <laughs> well, you never know what to expect. I guess it would be one thing. I, you know, uh, I thought I was just going to help 30 or 40 people. And this thing has turned into something that has taken on a life of its own. You know, I'm still trying to just be who I am and be faithful, you know, and trying to, you know, do, do the best I can to, to help people and also maintain my sanity. Yeah. Well, I, I bet that's like hard to do, maintain your sanity and the boundaries because there's so many people that reach out to, I'm sure, on the comment section. So like, how yeah. do you handle that? How do you like handle the mental clarity and like sanity? Well, I, you know, uh, I'm a man of faith. And so understanding that, you know, uh, it's bigger than me and I'm just trying to do the best that I can. And I can't, you know, I can, there's a limit to how much I can help people, but I think just being compassionate and trying to do the best I can to, to help people in whatever way I can. It's mm -hmm. just bigger than me. You know, um, if I thought I was carrying the weight of the world around on my shoulders, it would crush me. And so right. thankfully, I, I don't think that. So. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. So what is the greatest response or story you've received from a viewer about the impact your videos have had on them? Uh, there's so many. Uh, I, I don't know that I can narrow it down to just one. But you know, one, I, I still remember one person and see, again, I, I didn't start out to be famous. I didn't start this to switch careers. I didn't start it, you know, I thought I was just going to help 30 or 40 people. Uh, and try, I kind of came up with the idea of trying to just, you know, make it a nice, safe place to learn how to do things that I was able to pass along some of the things that I had to learn the hard way and just wanted people that have that resource. And so when people started writing and saying that they're, you know, crying, watching me tie a tie, it was a little, I didn't understand that. And it was ma mainly just because, you know, maybe they never had a good father figure or um, their dad had left or their dad had passed on or what have you, all of the above. I didn't anticipate that because I thought I was just, you know, just being myself trying to help people <laughs> learn how yeah. to do stuff. I didn't realize it was going to resonate on that level. And so, yeah, I've had people say, you know, they're, they're just crying watching me tie a tie. And I've had, I remember one that really stuck out to me. It was somebody that said, I'm actually sitting here just confused. Um, I have this pain in my chest watching you. Um, and I just, I can't compute it. They couldn't comprehend what was going on because maybe they just never had a father figure in their life that was loving, I, I guess. I, I, I don't know. And so, yeah, trying to figure that out is has been interesting <laughs> how people, but, you know, ultimately I want to try to help people and encourage people to, you know, stand on my shoulders or stand on somebody's shoulders to better themselves, you know, to learn how to do stuff. Cause it's, a, you know, you, you know, how empowering it is when you learn something, ah, I feel good about that. Maybe yes. I can try this. And, uh, and then pretty soon, boy, you know, you open up all kinds of doors for yourself. Exactly. And then yeah. my last question is, do you plan on doing like a mom? How do I? <laughs> 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 like with your wife obviously like we're the both of you together <laughs> my wife doesn't want to do that oh yeah, really oh she yeah and somebody actually did uh come up with a channel which was oh, really? 
Yeah, which is a little bit strange to me because right, I mean, as soon as my channel went viral, they tried to capitalize on it, which oh, okay. me, I thought was a little odd. Uh, yeah, that's odd. They didn't reach out to me, and it just seemed a little. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I don't want to say any more than that because. I don't want to appear petty, but it just seemed seemed strange, uh, so to speak. And I do try to teach anybody and everybody, you know, what I know how to do. There's obviously limits to what I can do, but you know, people. I I shot a wrap a present, and oh, shouldn't that be a mom thing? Well, you know, why limit yourself? You should yeah. learn how to do as much as you possibly can. I think that's how I've always tried to live. Exactly, it can totally be a dad thing. And then, yeah. do you have any other like big projects coming up? You've had your book. You're doing some deals with, I believe, Lowe's. You had something with Lowe's before. Yeah. Yeah, Lowe's. I got all kinds of sponsorships reaching out to me and I'm trying to stay, uh, you know, I don't want to lose people. <laughs> so <laughs> I, but I do ha also have some very famous good brands that don't necessarily, they're not necessarily how to's, but it's like they, they want to support me. Um, so it's hard to try to figure out how to incorporate that because they aren't necessarily how to DIY type of stuff, but they're good name brands that I use. Um, so trying to navigate that is difficult. There's also uh, been talk of a TV show for quite a while and it's been pitched to different uh, networks and a lot of interest, but nothing um, set in stone yet. And yeah, so trying to navigate all that. Uh, <laughs> awesome. It's interesting, I, you know, just I, trying to, you know, maintain my sanity and maintain my normal life too has been been difficult because right. you know this wasn't planned so. exactly which I think makes it so much more beautiful that it, it's like from your own story it wasn't planned and then it just like affects so many people yeah it's cool I mean I'm so grateful I I, I joke about it but I'm grateful that I went viral for something <laughs> positive yeah. and something you know healthy that I feel just blessed and honored to be able to you know pour good into the world and try to encourage dads to hang in there too because it's cool being a dad you know yeah. I think um, we've gotten away from that being a cool thing, you know, uh, and so if I can encourage dads to hang in there, you know, it's, it's worth it. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much. That's all my questions for today. And thank you for being the internet's dad. I really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks. I shy away from that, that internet's dad. Uh, uh, you know, I've, okay. called, I've just been called that, but I, you know, I think it would be a little arrogant for me to call myself that, but you know, I, if it's, it's whatever, it, it doesn't offend me. I just don't want to walk around. Hey, I'm the internet's dad, you know, right. uh, trying to do the best I can. Well, so. thank you for being humble. We all yeah. love you for it. <laughs> uh, you bet. Nice talking to you, Megan. Nice talking to you too.